Hello everyone, we got an update from the Bronx, New York. I'm not expecting much, but let's see. This morning, a Bronx home is a scene of a bizarre story. Police have arrested eight squatters, all of them migrants, after officers say they found guns and drugs. Also inside that house, a young child. Eyewitness News reporter Phil Tate live in the Norwood section with the details for us this morning. Phil? Yeah, while things may appear to be quiet right now, it was a completely different scene just last week as police arrested those eight migrants believed to be squatting in the basement of this home. And they also, what is what they would find inside, they would find drugs along with weapons, along with a seven year old child inside of that same room. I want to get straight to some video right now. This big bust happened last Wednesday when police got a call about a man with a gun just footsteps away from a school across the street. When they arrived, they chased 24 year old Hector De Sosa Villalta, believed to be from Venezuela, into the basement of the home here at 3259 Hull Avenue. Well, that's where cops arrested him, along with seven others. Another man, 22-year-old Javier Alborno, tried to get away from the apartment with another weapon before he was also arrested. Now, when a search warrant was in place, investigators recovered two more loaded guns, three loaded extended magazines, and a box of ammunition with a bag of ketamine mixed with cocaine. Now, DeSouza Villalta and eight others were charged with criminal possession of a weapon, criminal possession of controlled substance, and acting in a manner injurious to a child. All but two were released without bail. Now, DeSouza Villalta was arrested with attempted murder for shooting someone else in the leg. Now, this was all from another dispute that happened over in Yonkers. As for these other suspects, they are also being investigated in terms of another robbery pattern that they're seeing in Bergen County. Speechless. Speechless. I mean, I can't keep up. I'm posting about one and then another five pop up. I honestly cannot keep up. I'm trying my best here. You know, what I still find surprising is that sometimes we get a few woke liberals that make it into the comment section of some of my videos and they, uh, start saying things like, how can you go against your own people? How can you do that? That's your own people. How dare you? How dare you? And I'm like, really? Are you that stupid? You still haven't figured it out what's happening here? Then I remember that woke liberals could be the most racist people you'll ever meet. The Holocaust isn't about race. She also That's characterized the slaughter of six million well, Jews well, like this. This is white people doing it to white people. Yeah. Most of the Nazis were white people and most of the people they were attacking were white people. So to me, I'm thinking, how can you, how can you say it's about race if you are fighting each other? All they see and talk about is race. They cannot get past your skin color. And that is why they strongly believe that all people of color that came from South America jumped over the border. Therefore, to them, it is incomprehensible that someone of color would be able to talk bad about their own people. And to you, woke liberals, I say that even if I was to follow your stupid identity politics trend, it is still an embarrassment what most of these migrants are doing to the reputation of my people, as you say. And I would proceed with the same strong stance of get them out and get them out now. And too damn bad if that hurts your woke feelings. Anyhow, I wanted to give you another update. Turns out that Late Trash and Miss Piggy are actually married in the United States. If you remember on my last video, I mentioned that there was a possibility of them not being married in order to make it easier to take advantage of the system. However, now that we know they are married, I do want to let you know that he is still able to get benefits from the government. You see, TikTok pays you via PayPal. And so those workers that are approving his benefits are most likely not going to check all of his bank accounts or his PayPal account, in my opinion. Remember, he told us he is not working. As a result, he's able to get all of those sweet benefits for himself and his family. Birthright is an amazing thing for these migrants. I mean, from what we've seen, 
a lot of them don't even have a proper proof of address, nor do they speak English, and they're still able to have an American citizen child. They found the loophole and are able to take advantage of it. Simply amazing. By the same token, some of you in the comment section mentioned that Late Trash was released within 24 hours of his arrest. And I'm here to tell you that is fake news. He is still detained by ICE. If you go on the online detainee locator system, you will be able to see that he is still under arrest. Now that we got those updates out of the way, let's talk about the topic of this video. Please meet Laytrash's brother from another mother or the reincarnation of Laytrash, if you will. That is right. This is Alex, a Venezuelan migrant. And by the way, before the liberals start to freak out and say, you're only going after the Venezuelans. That is not true. I have covered Colombian migrants, Mexican migrants, Salvadorian migrants, even Indian migrants. I have done many of them, but it is not my fault. They make it too easy for me. And I told you so many times I'm a Venezuelan American. So if anything, I can speak about them all day long and you cannot call me a racist because they are my people, remember? Idiots. Well, Alex goes by the nickname of El Viaje, which is trip or travel in English. Additionally, he recently went viral by showcasing the big bucks he's making here in America while, of course, making fun of Americans and immigrants in general. I'm going to go over one of his latest live streams, which for the record was a complete train wreck and uh, travel here has over 100,000 followers between his main and backup accounts. You guessed it right on TikTok. Also travel here claims he is a genius investor who is making a lot of money in America, but it wasn't too hard for me to find out that he is another con. He works for DoorDash all while trying to scam people's money online during his live streams. And that is why I rightfully call him the TravelCon. Yeah, so TravelCon told us he wants to buy some cocaine, among other things, with the money he's been recently making. Thereafter, he told us how he cannot wait to go back to his beautiful Venezuela, exposing his fake asylum seeking case. It is important to mention that you won't see this anywhere else but on the Vega Access channel. So please smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps the algorithm so that more Americans can watch these videos. That being said, let's see what else. Late Trash's brother and Joe Biden's brilliant asylum seeker, AKA, TravelCon is bringing to the table. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so once again, I'm going to translate the main points of his live stream. And this was a pretty long one, all right? So bear with me here. Uh, so he starts by responding to the comment section who is already comparing him to Late Trash. And they're asking him to uh, give an opinion about his arrest. So he's saying, what am I going to say about him possibly being deported? That's not my problem. Um, at any moment, he's probably going to be freed and be on the news in America and whatever. So he is interacting with the chat and the chat says, don't be like Late Trash. And he's saying, guys, Late Trash asks for money. I don't ask for money. I make money. Look, 
Look at this. Yeah, look at this. This is crazy. There you go. He's taunting the chat. Oh, man. I'm losing so many brain cells when I translate these videos, man. I really have to uh, eat very well. So he's telling the chat to shut up. And uh, the chat is asking him about the serial numbers on the bills. He's saying that, yes, the serial numbers here are different on the bills. And look right here, they're different. I don't know what the serial numbers are for. I think they are different. I'm looking for money. I'm focused. We're going to help someone that is in need. My name is uh, Julio Alexander. Oh, no, I said my name. Oh, well, who cares? I'm going to be helping people that need assistance. Let's see, you guys are asking how much do I have? I have $9,200. This week, I'll make it to 10000 and I want to buy myself a truck or an SUV, a full runner. Or maybe I should buy uh, an apartment in Venezuela. How much would that cost in Venezuela? Guys, I don't know. I, I, maybe I want to invest in Venezuela. I don't know when I will be deported, but someone said 30000 30000 $30,000? No, I, I'll i buy a mansion where I'm from. And he mentions a, a town in Venezuela where he's from. He says, I'm also buying uh, jewelry. I'll buy gold from you. Uh, just let me know if you have gold. I'll buy it for you. So yeah, so he just told us that he wants to buy a property in Venezuela, just not too expensive either. And he's also now saying that, yes, I'm buying jewelry. I'm buying jewelry here, depending on the price. I'll buy uh, some gold from you guys. Once again, interacting with the uh, chat who is telling them that in Venezuela, he could buy uh, an apartment for 7,000. He's saying, really, where? And uh, somebody's saying that uh, we should call 911 on him. And he's taunting them saying, yeah, call 911. I don't care. Oh, 911 right now, he says. People are asking him for a job. He says, guys, listen to me. I'm investing in Bitcoin. This is all Bitcoin. We are all investing in Bitcoin right now. He reads a comment that says, 10K in USA is nothing. He says, well, come here then. If you want, I'll pay your plane ticket. Or are you here in the US? Come here. I'll invite you here to America to make 10,000. Come. Come. I want to. I'll, I'll bring you here. I'll, I'll even give you uh, space in my apartment for two months right here. All right. So just, just come here. I'll pay your plane ticket and I want you to work and then tell me. How long is it going to take you to make $10,000? Some people said that that could be fake money from Amazon. He says, no, this is real money. If it was from Amazon, I'll buy three packs or more, but this is real. He reads a comment that says, this is the next one that will be taken by ICE. And he says, look, I'm working with my work permit. I'm legal here. I'm in my process of getting asylum. I have my TPS, which is the temporary protection status. I'm not doing anything wrong. Or you tell me if I'm committing a crime. Tell me. What crime am I committing? He reads a comment that says, yeah, right. You're going to get asylum. And then he responds, look, as long as you have money and you pay your good attorney, you guys shut your mouths. Just shut up. Somebody asked, how can you invest? Please teach me. Lend me a thousand bucks. And he's saying, you need a thousand? When, when do you need it? And he's counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right here. A thousand. Okay. Send me your Zell and I'll loan it for you. And you just pay me back twelve hundred dollars. So some interest. I'll give it I'll loan it to you for one week. Then here someone asks, how much would an attorney charge? for the asylum-seeking process or case. 
and he's saying a friend of mine won his case for asylum and he spent around 18 to 20 thousand uh, dollars with attorneys and he won here once again he is uh, uh interacting with the chat about lending them some money and he's counting once again uh, saying that he will lend a couple of thousands of dollars to someone in the chat who else needs money he says somebody said 4500 you want 4500 okay here we go and then he starts counting again he's saying wow that's a lot of money and he's just counting right now to make it to 4500 how ridiculous he says wow you're going to leave me broke i'm not going to be able to lend anyone else any money after this he's asking where should i invest where in drugs right in drugs give me an idea i want to invest i'm i'm bored here i don't know what to do i'm bored the chat says uh, invest in bitcoin and he says we already have around twenty five thousand dollars invested in bitcoin somebody is telling him why don't you go and study and he says i don't have time to study if i study who is going to pay my apartment i study whenever i have some free time but i don't i mean he's giving conflicting information here but i'm not surprised someone in the chat says you should invest in venezuela buy an apartment and rent it and he says no in venezuela hell no he's saying are you crazy in venezuela they destroy everything and there you have it himself is saying that in venezuela they destroy things can you believe it now he says "Ooh, those girls that want to come up here to america i'll make your dreams come true all of those beautiful girls that want to make money i'll make your dreams come true moreover someone in the chat says in venezuela you were broke he replies me i have pictures in venezuela with a lot of money in my hands you guys don't even know at 14 years old i was already driving i mean I'm, i was a big player in venezuela imagine at 14 years old i'm always making money if you know you know and there you go he just told us that in venezuela he was actually making money and it seems like he was doing well but that's why i call him travel con let's move on the chat says in venezuela we all had fun but uh, those are all memories now then he says yes it's true in venezuela we have a good time and then he gets offended because someone said something about ice again and he says why do you guys suffer let ice do their job don't worry about us let us live and let 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 lay trash live because someone mentioned lay trash i guess you guys are talking about ice listen if they want to find you they'll get you and that's it look He's saying, I received a letter from ICE. I have some things that ICE just sent me today. And it has my address. If they want to find you, they'll come and find you and that's it. And they'll deport you and you'll go back to Venezuela and that's it. They're not playing games here, he says. They just come here, boom, and get you. So he seems like he doesn't really care if he gets deported. Somebody in the chat asks, what do you do for a living? And he says, right now I'm working with Bitcoin, only Bitcoin. I invested 2000 in Bitcoin and out of that I made $8,000. That's why I say if you don't take risks, you don't win. We have to think big to have money. We're going to do a $500 raffle to the first 300 people that follow us. And uh, we're going to do the raffle with those people. Somebody asks if he has a social. He says, listen, I have everything. I even have a, a permit to fly, he says. So now he's walking to his laundry area in the apartment. And he says, I need a maid. I need a maid to come clean here in Austin. So he's in Austin, Texas. Then he says, no, no, not a maid, actually. I need a girl to come and clean my place once a week how much do you guys charge once a week 
And then he says, you have to be here in Austin. Well, what do you know? Austin, Texas, you have a genius migrant investor living in your area. Somebody asked, how long was it before you got your appointment? And he says, when I crossed, there were no appointments. Then here he says, how much for cocaine? I'm going to snort $1,000 worth of cocaine. I'm bored. And if you don't believe me, let me play it out loud for you. Moving along, someone in the chat says, you guys act like thugs as if you're tough, but if we are in front of you, you get scared and start to cry. You think you're in Venezuela. So he says, just come here then. I don't talk too much. Just come. Those that look for trouble, I try to avoid it. But if you insist, believe me, you will encounter someone that is not weak. I promise you that, he says. I swear. Then somebody in the chat says, okay, send me your location. And look at his face. No answer. Look, at now he's scared. What a con. What a con. Let me play the Spanish version right there. Somebody said, send me the location and look at his reaction. Just froze. Manda la ubicación. There you go. No response. You see? <laughs> what a fool. <laughs> then somebody asks, how long did it take you to cross the Darien Gap? And he says, I don't even remember anymore how many days it took me. I don't recall. Here he says, keep asking me. Look, I'm producing. I'm just someone that is adding, not subtracting. I keep adding and adding. I'm looking for money. Okay? I'm focused. I want the dollars, the green, the lettuce. I'm paying attention to all of those things. Do you guys understand? And then he goes ahead and promotes his website address to invest. He's saying invest and you will win a lot of money. Obviously, I will not give you that website. He is uh, proceeding in telling everyone to invest with him and you'll make a lot of money, supposedly. Now, as someone who heavily invests in the stock market, I can assure you I've seen so many of these scams online. So please do not fall for it. I'm confident that most of you can tell he is a liar. But if there's anyone out there that is even thinking about trusting him, please don't. Anyway, someone in the comment section says, you're just like Lay Trash. And he says, brother, Lay Trash asks for money. I don't. I make money, okay? I don't ask for it. Yet he was asking for it a few minutes ago. I mean, this is what we're dealing with here. But he says, do you see me begging in the streets or something? Do you see me living in shelters? No, you don't see me doing any of that. Look at me. Look at this. Invest, people. If you invest, you will win $7,500 in one week, he says. With $300, you can start investing. You can pay with any card, uh, credit or debit. And you can be anywhere in the world and be your own boss. It is very easy. All you need to do is invest. The link is in my bio, he says. You have to take the classes, he says. It's not that you're just going to make it like that. You need to take your classes and then uh, move along. You get me? Oh, so now we're going to learn from him. Imagine now he's the master teacher of investing. I mean, what a joke. All right. So on this section of the life, he says, Venezuela, my God, soon. Very soon, he says, soon in my beautiful Venezuela. Oh, yes, he says. And yet again, that is the asylum seeking fraud in a nutshell. He is telling us that he wants to go back to his beautiful Venezuela. And I hear this all the time from most of these migrants. They just want to come here. 
make the dollars and go back. So the asylum seeking uh, notion that the left and the media keeps pushing that they are escaping and they are trying to have a better and safe life here. It is a lie. They are okay over there. They just need the dollars. That's all. Most of them are not being persecuted. They just want to have that nice set of income or savings to be able to invest it, not here, but over there. Then here, someone in the chat says, what do you guys do over there? Here, what we do is sex, drugs, money, and the guns. You know how it is. That's what we have here, he says. Then he moves forward in talking about Bitcoin and investing, repeating himself. At this point, we know what he is all about and the message he is spreading to other migrants here in America and prospect migrants outside of it. Postal de los United States, ¿me entiende? Te llegan los cheques y tú no tienes ni tú sales a trabajar porque tú quieres, porque quieres distraerte para no estar en tu casa. Pero tú aquí en Estados Unidos, mira, te llegan los chequecitos y tú los cobras. What a true scumbag. And I left the translations on the caption in order for you to hear the message from the dirtbag and lowlife himself. And you see right there, they call him late trash and somebody says, you're late trash 2.0 and he likes it. Look at his smile. He loves the comparison. That's his idol, right? And three Doritos later, here he is in what it seems to be completing a DoorDash delivery. In this video, he is referring to the Venezuelans that are asking him for money. So he says, you guys say, send me $30. That's nothing. That's nothing. He says, look at me. Even my pants and my boxers are falling. Huh? Walking to the fourth floor of this building. Yeah, the fourth floor and going around because I can't even find the damn apartment. And send me 20 bucks is nothing. Yeah, suck my you know what. And then he curses at them by saying, go suck a you-know-what. He did share the entire message in Spanish, but I am not going to repeat it here. And that's a wrap. I mean, do I need to say more? I don't think so. The message is loud and clear. As always, I want to thank you for watching this video. Similarly, I want to give a special thanks to the patrons of this channel, those of you that have contributed via Cash App or Super Thanks or joined uh, the YouTube channel as an exclusive member in addition to the Discord server. I truly appreciate your support. So don't forget to check out the shout out section in the description of this video. I do have other platforms on X, Rumble, Facebook, Instagram, and my Discord server, where I cover the migrant crisis in America and other topics as well. So please make sure to follow me on all of them. When it comes to the Discord server, the invite link is in the description of this video. Finally, guys, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with one person you know and let me know what you think in the comment section below.